assets. Now, what is making the rescue efforts even more dangerous is the fact that objects like power lines are hanging from the bridge. Our correspondent Alana Austin has been tracking the latest for us. She joins us live right there in Baltimore at the bridge. And obviously this is a heartbreaking search and rescue, but there will be uh, many questions about how this happened. But for now, there's also a question of the impact, whether it be traffic and also uh, the shipping that goes through that port, Alana. Hi, good afternoon, Bianca, and certainly a tragic moment here. And so many folks in the community and the region travel over the Key Bridge. It's, it is as frequently called. And so many folks traveling over this every day, millions of travelers throughout the year. So it's a key thoroughfare. Most of all, though, of course, for the families, for the victims who were directly impacted by this, the officials say their hearts go out to them. And they are working furiously in a desperate attempt to try to get any survivors going on nearly half a day here that they would have been in the water. As you mentioned there, they're still looking for several folks who would have gone in and the temperatures would have been about 47 degrees when this tragic collision happened. And we also spoke with the Baltimore mayor, Brandon Scott, a few moments ago. Here's what he had to say, his message about the priorities right now. A bridge can be rebuilt, but our focus should be on those people. And we will always be a city that bounces back every time because that's what we do. We're not answering any questions about anything other than the preservation of life today. Officials, including the NTSB, are on site and investigating what led up to this tragedy. The crew aboard the Dali cargo ship reported a loss of control and those propulsion issues, mechanical issues, as it departed the port. Maryland Governor Wes Moore says that Mayday call prevented further potential loss of life. So there are no official numbers reported at this time on whether there were any fatalities. But again, the officials are saying that this is a tragic moment and they have repeatedly referenced loss. But again, no specific numbers there. Also, helicopters, we've heard them all throughout the morning here. We know the U.S. Coast Guard is also on site trying to rescue those individuals. Again, several cars, a truck, and those construction workers went into the Patapsco River earlier today overnight. Again, six people reportedly missing. FBI and other police officials on site say there's no evidence of terrorism or foul play. We also know Maryland elected leaders, including Senators Van Hollen and Cardin, as well as Congressman Mufume, are closely working with officials as the operations continue. And Bianca, we have also learned that the Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is on route here, so we expect to hear from him later today directly. He's also offered numerous federal resources to all of the officials on the ground. We're hearing again local, state, and federal partners are all scrambling to try to reach those folks who are in the river. We also know President Joe Biden has been briefed on this matter, and he is expected to address the reporters and address the nation at some point point today, Bianca. Lana Austin, keep us posted. If anything uh, happens on the ground there, we'll get right back out to you. Thank you for that live update.